Hi there. Welcome to Gaga for Glue Guns. It's me, Pam, and I'm coming at you from my kitchen here in Libertyville, Illinois. Now, many of you at home have been asking me, Pam, when are you going to start doing those crafts and show us a great cooking idea, like those creative craft ideas? And, uh, well, today is your lucky day. Now, as many of you know, St. Patrick's Day is coming up very soon, and uh, Carl and I would usually go down to the Bennigans for our once annual visit for some green beer. But last year we had a little bit of an incident. We ran into Harvey, and, you know, some... Some punches were thrown, you know, by me mostly, but, um, you know, basically Carl and I can't go back. So instead this year, we're just going to do our own very festive St. Patrick's Day celebration here at home. Now, one of my favorite foods uh, that comes along with St. Patrick's Day would have to be corned beef. You know, it's corned beef and cabbage, and that is what St. Patrick's Day is all about. So uh, how could we integrate that into an hors d'oeuvre? Well, we take one of my favorite sandwiches, the Reuben, and turn it into a puff pastry. So uh, what you're going to need today um, is some deli corned beef, and um, then you're going to need some Swiss cheese. And I've taken my Swiss block of Swiss, and I finely shredded it. So, um, you know, this is really going to integrate well into your Reuben puff. And then, uh, of course, with Reubens, you're also going to need some sauerkraut, because, you know, got to have the cabbage with your corned beef, right, Carol? Okay, and then the last thing you're going to need is just some uh, crescent dough. And, um, you know, we're going to do something real special with this later on St. Patrick's Day, but just know you have to have a, a, a canister of that on hand. So, uh, first thing you're going to do is shred your cheese. And I've already pre-shredded mine, so I'm going to move on to step two here, which is just to chop up my uh, corned beef here. And this doesn't have to be fancy. You're just going to want to chop it finely into small pieces. So, here we go. Chop away, here we go. Just chop on through. Now all you're gonna do with this is just dump it right into a bowl. Just that simple. Just throw it in. And you know, it doesn't have to be very neatly chopped because it's just gonna go in a pastry puff. No one's gonna see, you know, the outsides. And then from there, you're just gonna add a little bit of Swiss cheese. And just sprinkle that on the top there. You can be pretty generous. This is to your own creative liking here. Um, you know, how cheesy you like your Reuben to be. You know, uh, Carol really can't have too much cheese because he's lactose intolerant. But, um, you know, I always throw in an extra pinch for myself. You know, he can suffer with the gas for one night. It's, you know, it's cheesy deliciousness. And then what we're going to do is just going to take the sauerkraut and just spoon this onto the top. You could do this with your fingers too, but I think sauerkraut's just a little nasty to touch with your fingers. And I'm just going to do a couple big tablespoons full here. You don't want the cabbage to overpower your, uh, your the rest of the flavors. And then just you're going to mix this together. So now I've just taken the time out on my own here to roll out some crescent dough onto parchment paper. And uh, here's where we get into a special St. Patrick's Day surprise uh, for all your party guests. And what we're going to try to do here today is to dye this crescent roll green because that's the color of St. Patrick's Day. So I just got some green food coloring here, and uh, I'm gonna open it up and uh, just dump it on. Just little drops here and there. You know, don't wanna be too generous because this is, you know, pretty potent. And then once I've done that, I'm just gonna close this up there, and I'm gonna take a pastry brush now and just brush this food coloring across. And now what we're gonna do is I went to my local craft store and I picked up some shamrock shaped cookie cutters. And that's gonna take this over the top in terms of being just the perfect order for a St. Patrick's Day party. And I'm just gonna take this with the crescent dough and I'm just gonna cut it out, give it a good press, and I'm just gonna repeat this across the whole sheet of crescent dough. And the next step that we're going to do here is just scoop out some of that corned beef mixture that we made earlier and place it on the center of each one of the shamrocks on the, uh, that are set out on the cookie sheet. So I'm just going to grab a spoonful here and make sure you get a good mix of the corned beef, the cabbage, and the Swiss cheese. And I'm just going to dab it right there on the center. And you know, just pile it up nice and neat. And then from there, I'm going to peel up one of these shamrocks that I've still got on my parchment. And you do want to be careful here to try and line the two up. And you're just going to stretch that out over the top. And maybe just give the edges a little press, but you don't have to worry too much because it is going to bake all together. So now I've completed all six of my shamrock puffs, uh, Reuben puffs, and I'm ready to put them in the oven. So uh, I'm just going to take my, my pan here and I'm going to put it in the, an oven that is preheated to 375 degrees. And we're going to leave these in there for about 
in 12 to 15 minutes. And it wouldn't be a Gaga for Blue Goods episode without a quick craft. And uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to jazz up your serving tray for your St. Patrick's Day party. So what I've got here now today for the tray to present your Reuben Puffs is just the base. Uh, it's a cake base is what it is, and it's made of cardboard. And the reason I like to use this for a party is that when the party is over, it is no muss, no fuss. This just goes right out in the trash. It's just gone. Um, but just because it's a cardboard tray does not mean it can't be fancy and elegant for your party. So I've got a few things here just to spice it up a little bit. Um, the first thing is uh, just some fun... Uh, you know, aluminum joilies, and these just peel apart, and they come in packets of varying sizes. And I'm just going to lay these along the bottom, just to, can, you know, bring the St. Patrick's Day color uh, onto the silver foil of the cardboard. And then I also picked up just some, uh, some uh, plastic carnations, and uh, what's great about these is it's, you know, Obviously, they're not going to wilt, but these can be glued down to the tray. And all I'm going to do is just glue them down in a little small arrangement. i got my glue gun heating up here. And I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue down here. Pretty generous one, because you do not want these flowers to fall off. And then I'm just going to drop a carnation down. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to create a little cluster, a motif, if you will, right here on the edge of the tray. And then I think this is a super fun idea. What I've got here is a Happy St. Patrick's Day shot glass. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom here. And I'm going to put this down opposite my carnations, maybe uh, about three quarters, about there. Now you're probably wondering what a shot glass would be doing on your tray. Isn't that right, Carl? Well, he had seen this trick before, so he knows. However, you could do this with a glass of varying sizes, but what I like about the St. Patrick's Day shot glass is that now I can glue this on, it's not going anywhere, and I can go into my refrigerator here. And what's the last thing you need for your Reuben crop puffs? Russian dressing. So I can just open this up here and pour it in. And poof, you've got an automatic dip chopper right there. So our puff pastries are all set in the oven, and we're about to pull them out. And uh, I'm just going to go in here. Oh, they smell divine. Can you smell that, Carl? Oh, God. And look at there. You've got delightful green shamrocks. And we're going to let these cool off for just a couple minutes, and then we're going to remove them to our decorated tray. I'd like to thank you all for joining me today on Gaga for Blue Guns for this very special Live from Pam's Kitchen episode. And um, I hope that you have a lovely St. Patrick's Day. And uh, I hope you will try these Reuben Puffs at home. I will tell you they are delicious. And who does not love some crescent roll? Um, so, and along with your serving tray, you've got the start of a very great St. Patrick's Day party. Now, all we need is some green beer, right, Carol? All right, we'll see you all again real soon on Gaga for Blue Guns. Thank you so much. Supermodel, work! Work it, girl! Do your thing on the runway! There we are. Look, Carol, I'm step dancing! Work! Work it, girl! Wet your lips wide! Make up to the camera! Must be all that sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> Carol is actually intolerant. Work! 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 Look at me, I'm a big pig, just like Rachel Ray. <laughs> Work! 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 Sashay Shantae! Ooh, I'd like to thank Jacqueline Smith for this apron.